Patients with tracheostomies that are requiring supplemental oxygen utilize a very specific oxygenation system. When the patient needs to be transported to a different location, they will need to continue to be oxygenated, but it will require transitioning the patient to some different equipment. This video will demonstrate and explain the process of setting up oxygenation for transport for patients with tracheostomies. Transitioning a patient's oxygen delivery system for transport can be completed by either the respiratory therapist or the registered nurse. Before you begin, you will need to gather some supplies. A mask, eye protection, and gloves are always appropriate for use when working with a tracheostomy to protect yourself from contact with any secretions from the trach. You will also need a venti mask kit. This may already be in the room if the patient was previously transported somewhere during their stay, but if not, you can find one in the respiratory cart on your unit. You will also need a portable oxygen tank and some form of tank container. This is a wheeled container, but there are others that attach to the head of the bed. You should not transport a patient with an oxygen tank that is not housed in an appropriate transport container. The Venti Mask Kit is packaged in a plastic bag. It will look like this. Inside is a mask attached to blue tubing, a length of oxygen tubing, a plastic guard, and a set of oxygen delivery adapters. Each adapter will deliver a different percentage of oxygen to the patient and requires a different amount of oxygen flow to properly function. If you look at the top of the adapter, you will be able to see what percentage of oxygen this adapter is designed to deliver and how many liters of oxygen it will require. This yellow adapter delivers 28% oxygen and requires 4 liters of oxygen flow. The included adapters can deliver 24, 28, 31, 35, 40, or 50% 50 oxygen to the patient when receiving the appropriate flow of oxygen. The oxygen setup for tracheostomies functions in the same way as this venti mask. Attached to the wall oxygen is a venti setup. This device has a dial that you can rotate to deliver different amounts of oxygen to the patient, and each setting also requires different oxygen flow to properly function. The settings on the tracheostomy setup that is used at Trinity Health Livonia are nearly the same as the oxygen delivery options from the venti mask that the hospital uses. The exception is 30%. If your tracheostomy patient requires 30% oxygen from the wall unit, during transport, you will utilize the 31% adapter. The wall unit also has the ability to deliver 70% and 100% oxygen. This is not possible with a venti mask, which has a maximum delivery of 50%. If you have a tracheostomy patient requiring these higher levels of oxygen and transportation is necessary, contact the respiratory therapist for further assistance. Our patient is requiring 28% oxygen to her tracheostomy, so when transporting her, we will utilize the yellow adapter. First, connect the oxygen tubing to the male end of the adapter and attach the opposite end to the blue tubing. Detach the mask from the tubing. You won't need it. You can dispose of the mask and the clear guard that was in the bag. All you will need are the pieces that you just connected. The yellow adapter requires 4 liters of oxygen flow. So turn your tank to 4 liters. Test to make sure oxygen is flowing from the tank, and if it is not, and you verify that the gauge shows a full tank, you probably need to turn the lever on the side of the tank to open the flow. Once you have oxygen flowing from the tank, attach your oxygen tubing. Disconnect the blue tubing from the trach collar, and attach the blue tubing from your venti mask kit. Your patient is now ready for transport. Make a note of the oxygen settings that your patient was using. This patient was receiving 28% oxygen with 6 liters of oxygen flow. You will need to ensure these settings are maintained when the patient returns to the room. But for now, turn off the oxygen flow from the wall unit. You will notice that the oxygen delivery to tracheostomies from the wall is always humidified with sterile water, and that the transport oxygen setup does not include any humidification. This is normal. We do not humidify oxygen during transportation with these patients. Before the patient leaves with transport, ensure they have their tracheostomy go bag with them and that it is fully stocked. The go bag is a collection of supplies that should always be with the patient in case they have a respiratory emergency when they are away from the room. They should have with them an ambu bag, a full tracheostomy tube kit of the same size that is currently in place or one size smaller, and this kit must include the outer cannula, the inner cannula, and the obturator so that if it is necessary, a new tube can be placed quickly. They also will need a 10cc syringe so that the cuff can be inflated in the event that the patient requires ventilation. They will need a suction catheter and gloves. 
These items can be placed in a belongings bag, and this bag should remain with the patient at all times while the patient is away from the room. When the patient returns to the room, turn the wall oxygen to the appropriate setting. Our patient was receiving 28% oxygen with 6 liters of flow, so ensure that the oxygen setup matches these settings before connecting to the patient. Disconnect the venti mask setup from the trach collar and reattach the blue tubing from the wall oxygen. Disconnect the oxygen tubing from the portable tank and turn it off by turning the flow to 0 liters. Put your used tank in the empty tank storage area on your unit. Keep this venti mask setup readily available for any future transportation needs. Patients with tracheostomies will often need to be transported throughout the hospital. Both respiratory therapists and nurses are able to set these patients up with the appropriate oxygen delivery to safely move the patient.